Hi everyone, my name is Hong Jun. Today I'm going to talk about numeral construction. The contents of numeral construction is not difficult, but there are lots of counters that you have to remember. Before I move to numeral construction, I will go over quickly what the native and Sino Koreans are. The Sino Korean is used for year, months, days, measuring and any important that have high numbers greater than 99. Native Korean is used for counting objects, uh, telling the hour time, and so on. The Native Korean only goes up to 99. So now we will learn time expression. Telling time in Korean is a little complicated, especially if you are not familiar with Native and Sino Korean numbers. So we got to the part about how to tell time in Korean. Like most other things in Korean, time is measured by counters. C for hour, bun for minutes, and cho for second. The Korean mentioned earlier that each counter match up, matches up differently, either with native Korean numbers and Sino Korean numbers or both. With these three counters, she match up with only with native Korean numbers, while Bun and Cho match up only with Sino Korean numbers. So to be more precise in expressing time, the AM and PM is normally added after time. So Achim, for example, Achim or Ojeon for AM or mor morning. The so, ovu for p.m. especially afternoon. The so, bam for p.m. especially evening. So, so now let's tell some time. If a digital clock displays 1:40, how do you read that in Korean? So, remember which counters to use and which number system to use. So, record that hour is native, minute, and second signal. So 140 read as 한시 40분. The wife the clock displays 10 10 p.m. A.M. p.m. in Korean are translated into one of the time related word above. So 10 10 p.m. read as either 저녁 10시 10분 or 밤 10시 10분. But be aware that. While English speakers might read 1.40 a.m. as 1.40 in the morning, the Korean would read, that, read it as 새벽 1시 40분, not 아침 1시 40분. Because for Koreans, 아침 does not start until the sun rises. So next, when giving days in Korean, the rule is to start from the longest to shortest time element. This is opposite how days are relayed in English. So in English, 2.30 p.m. Monday, July 14th, 2015. But in Korean, 2015년 7월 14일 월요일 오후 2시 30분. This is the right order in Korean. So months can be counted with either native Korean or Sino Korean numerals. Uh, months in duration can be counted in the native or Gewa. Si ah, sorry. The months can be counted in the native or Gewa Sino Korean as marker. So for example, the one month is Handal or Il Gewa. So in talking about months as in January, February, and etc. So knowing how to count 1 to 12 in Sino Korean and plus the constant marker world and optionally dial. This is formula of how to talk months in Korean. So Sino Korean number a uh, Sino Korean number plus world plus dial. So these are the time expression of the months. 
So next is classifier construction. The type one, okay, uh, classifier construction are made up of four types. So type one is noun and number. Type two is noun plus numeral plus counter. And type three is number plus noun. And type four is number numeral plus counter plus generate plus noun. So for type 1, the 학생 셋이 찾아왔다. The literal translation is student 3 came to visit. But the correct translation is 3 students came to visit. So type 2, 학생 세 명이 찾아왔다. The literal translation is 3 students came to visit. The correct one is three students came to visit. For type three, the 세 학생이 찾아왔다. A literal translation is three students came to visit. And the correct one is same as the literal one. And type four, the 세 명의 학생이 찾아왔다. The literal translation is their persons of student came to visit. The correct one is three students came to visit. Okay, actually all four of the above are grammatically correct, although they are combined slightly different nonsense. The type two is the most colloquial and has nearly no restriction restrictions. And type 4 is the most literal and used nearly exclusively in written text. The type 3 somewhat implies that we know the three students previously and only certain types of nouns are used in type 3. So for example, it is fine to say to Hakkyo, but ungrammatically to say se namo. The type 1 and type 3 cannot be used with noun that cannot be counted since neither construction has a counter involved. Okay. So practice. So what are the two types of Korean language when counting the numbers? Okay, the answer is native Korean and Sino Korean. Then how do we this in Korean? The answer is 새벽 2시 30분. Okay, how do we this in Korean? Okay, the answer is 2015년 7월 14일 월요일 오후 5시 30분. Okay, next practice. So what are the two types of formula in classifier construction? Okay, type 1, noun and number. In type 2, noun plus numeral plus counter. In type 3, number plus noun. In type 4, number counter generative noun. The last question. The which type of formula are more commonly used in spoken language? The answer is type 2. So noun plus numeral plus counter. Okay, thank you for watching my presentation and sorry about the uh, all the masses in the presentation. Okay, thank you.